you know, we talk to a lot of people about nutrition and uh, chelation, heavy metal detox. Can that be detoxed from your body? Can you can you do things that detox mercury from wherever it might be hiding? Yes, there are a thousand things that help detox mercury, but one of the problems with mercury is that the form that comes off your filling is called elemental mercury vapor. It's a gas and it has no electrical charge. So the way your body is built, there's an area that is protected by a membrane. It's called the blood-brain barrier and it's to protect the brain from charged particles. And so that it can go right through that like a ghost through a wall. And once it's inside, there's an enzyme in the brain called catalase that will put a charge on it and that can't get back out. So it ends up like a 22 caliber bullet banging around inside your cranium. It can't get out until some molecule picks it up and takes it out of there. And the, the people who get Alzheimer's the worst, that molecule is APOE4. It doesn't take mercury out at all. People who get Alzheimer's somewhat, APOE3 is their genetic makeup that takes it out, kind of. And the people that can take a bath in it and doesn't seem to bother them a bit, it's APOE2. And there's two molecules of sulfur on that uh, genetic makeup and it carries mercury out just fine. So that's the problem. We're not all the same. And that there are a lot of us that are APOE4, you're much more likely to get MS, Parkinson's, ALS, Lou Gehrig's, than you are if you're an APOE2, which is protective of those disorders. Well, what's that? That's your ability to excrete mercury from the brain. So you don't want it in your brain because that's where it's going to fry things. It even accumulates in the horns of the spinal cord, which is where you get the motor problems and you can't move your body or you're shaking or you can't control your movements.